so beautiful to us. And it's in four parts. And I'm only going to read from the fourth part. And in the fourth part, it's written entirely in the plural first person. So lots of we's. And I'm going to read both of our poems. So it's a call and response project. So I would write a poem, and then she would write a poem back. And then I would write a poem, and, she, and that's how the book got written. So I'm going to read both of our poems, and you can, you can guess who wrote which. For those of you who know my writing, I'm sure it won't be hard. This is called We Are Peen in the Dark. We are peen in the dark. We are tapping our feet, counting the numbers of taps before we finish peen in the dark. We are thinking about how surprised we are that we don't still listen to the music we thought we'd always listen to. We are surprised at how many taps before we are done peeing in the dark. Later, we are replacing a light bulb in the bathroom together. We are one of us holding a flashlight on the other one propelled to the ceiling on steady shoulders. And we are thinking about a book we once read with too many characters, too much love, too many deaths, too much disparity, too many scenes of driving in cars going nowhere, often thinking about how to become more focused, how to hide inside of a book without losing ourselves inside of a book. We are so beautiful to us, not because we always knew each other. We do not know each other, and we will surely never know each other. If you can't hear me, just shout or run or just uh, say something profane so I can know. I like to be heard because I'm an egomaniac. <laughs> we don't dress like we used to. We don't dress like we used to, and that's because we don't care like we used to. We don't care skinny jeans, low-cut tops, low-rise jeans, flares. We don't care biggest sunglasses in the world. We don't care tank top, flip-flop, clog boot, gold. We don't care about you anymore. When we were younger, we wanted everything to look like this painting that we saw, where the tiny flecks of paint looked like sparkles. And now we know that's just impressionism. But at the time, we were so deeply impressed we think, what if we could sparkle? We tell each other, guess what? Guess what? Like, we are 13 in the top bunk. Guess what? Like, we are 7 in the bottom bunk. Guess what? Like, we are our first stick of deodorant. Guess what? Like, we are the first time we read J.D. Salinger and didn't know that was possible to sound like you are guessing what for an entire book. Guess what we say? Like, we have so much to tell each other, but we are just scared of falling asleep. We are scared of most anything. We are scared of being in the same room. We are scared of not being in the same room, not being in a dark bar, not being in the passenger seat while the other person drives, putting our life into their hands around the giant curves. We spent $400 on clothes last week because we are scared of wearing the wrong thing, of wearing the wrong expression, of standing there in boxer shorts, not flaring, flailing through the air, not sparkling, not painted in tiny little dots that make sense from far away. And guess what we say, the last thing we will ever say. I figured out your middle name. So these are, these are calm response poems. So the, the conceit of this book is that, the worry with this book is that it will make no sense to anyone but the people writing it. But that is kind of the conceit of the book as well. So my hope is that this is making some sense to you guys. <laughs> this is called We Were the Kids with Snot Running Down Our Lips. And so what if we are a little less than perfect? We were the kids with snot running down our lips. We are thinking that an ending is necessary to make a whole, but we are forgetting so many things, so many other things down the line. It's like an apology is an apology, but we are so stubborn eating Honey Nut Cheerios at our age leaving milk in the bowl made with real honey, 2% milk, glasses of orange juice from concentrate, complaining, complaining how we can almost taste the powder of oranges in our orange juice from concentrate. Grow up, they tell us, accept our apologies, they tell us, but we are stubborn and we are thinking about ways in which we can buy lots of the same thing over and over again, except make slight variations on those same things. Because what we've got is good enough and every day we wake up in a sweat and we are remembering birthday presents received from our parents, thinking, 
How can they not know us? Where did we go wrong? When did we lose touch? And why would they ever want why would we ever want a novel written by Philip Roth? <laughs> we are waking up and we are sweating and we are not hungover and at all and we are thinking this is living. Surely this must be living. We are trying hard not to please anyone all the time. This is called slow slow down. This is called slow this beautiful down. Sometimes we miss how San Francisco was never warm enough. We miss the place on the beach where we tried to light a dura flame in the wind. We miss Brooklyn even when we're living there, or the idea of it at least, the idea of living in Brooklyn, which is not the same thing as living in Brooklyn, not even a little bit, not really at all. Sometimes we are remembering ourselves as gypsies, or we are remembering ourselves as sharks. We are remembering ourselves as skeletons and all of the other Octobers too. The way light came through our mother's face. We smell like candy and falling asleep. We are remembering falling asleep together even though we haven't fallen asleep together before. Sometimes the VH movie, VHS movie of our lives is in fast forward, and sometimes the VHS movie of our lives gets all tangled up, and you have to put your finger in it, in that little hole and twist, and sometimes the VHS movie of our lives feels like the best, oldest, heaviest promise, and sometimes the VHS movie of our lives is too high pitched. We want the VHS movie of our lives to include each other, or at least two actors who resemble us, in a field of dry grass, looking up at the sky in slow motion. And the picture will have a grainy quality, the kind of quality we like in a person, the kind of quality we like in a light. We need to slow this beauty down. We need to watch every building as we pass, even the ugliest ones. We need to rewind and rewind and rewind. We need to press, press, press our palms together. We need to wear more costumes, wear less masks. We need to share a bed and not touch each other. We need to whisper across the pillows and the words will be like hands. This is called, We Are Not So Beautiful to Everyone Else. We are so beautiful to us, like a girl once said, but we were young and without maps or smartphones on a road between mountains with no service and left to find our own way, or we were trying to ignore each other, which made us less than beautiful, and after a while we were lost, or we were lost to begin with, or maybe, just maybe, if we had asked for directions, asked each other, or asked someone else why we are so beautiful to us, or why we are not so beautiful to everyone else, or why do we try so hard, to find our way or why we are trying to slow down, to slow this beautiful down. We will miss this beautiful 